Watch, well, wanna see me catch one? I'm gonna either catch one or get snagged, right? Right by now. Got one. I told you. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Bassinville 96. And today, I just wanted to talk to you guys about some inexpensive bait casting reels. Because one of the most commented questions I get is either, what bait casting reels do I use? Or what's a good reel I could buy for under $100? And this company actually just reached out to me. I've never used them before. And I just finally got the chance to try them over the weekend. They sent me a couple of reels. And uh, for this entire video, I'm going to be using this reel right here. We threw chatterbaits all day. This thing is an awesome reel. I'm going to leave the link down in the description for Amazon, which I don't think they have this particular reel. And then I'm going to leave the link of uh, their website. And if you use the code BASSINBELL96, you actually get 10% off for Piscifon reels. But I think this particular reel retails for $89. And I absolutely love this thing. No lie. Like, I would not support a company that I didn't actually believe in. Like, I wouldn't. If, if the company reached out to me and tried to give me money or they sent me stuff and I didn't like the product, I wouldn't tell you guys because I honestly, I only support companies that I believe in. I, I got a chance to use this reel and I really liked it a lot, especially for the price point. So as you see in this video, I used it all day. I was skipping Chatterbaits under docks. I hardly had to do anything to tune this reel in too. Like just absolutely like blew, blew the expectations out of the water, what I, what I was really expecting from this reel. So... Uh, if you guys are interested in this brand at all, like I said, links are going to be in the description, but otherwise, enjoy the video. Caught a lot of nice fish on Chatterbait, so thanks for watching. Got one. Yep. He's, no, he's not that big. He's a little guy. On the Chatterbait. First fish that we've landed so far. I missed one a little bit earlier on the chatterbait, but uh, it's been pretty slow, surprisingly. We thought we were going to really whack them back here. We're going to have to probably move spots pretty soon, maybe go try some main lake stuff. We thought they'd be back in this pocket, but nice chunky little 12-incher, 13-incher, getting back in the water. Got one. I told you. <laughs> yep. Hey, I called that all day. Is this recording? It's recording. You called that. I called that all day. He's a little bit too big to flip, too. Not a, not a giant. A little bit bigger than the last one. He just railed it, too. Perfect. Probably a pound and a half or so. Probably not quite two pounds. This is honestly a little bit. The last two fish have been below average for this body of water, so we're really looking for those, like, three-pounders. That's, like, an average fish in here. But another, another nice little pound and a half or so, maybe a little bit more than that too. He's stocky. Just right underneath that little floating, uh, or what, what the heck would you call that? Like a, a boat slip. Yeah, right underneath a boat slip, just over, over the top of a couple crossbars and everything. Awesome fish. <laughs> All right, juice. Juice. Oh, oh my God, did you see that thing? Oh my God, watch out, watch out. Dude, I don't think that was a bass. It was a huge pike. Oh my God, did you see him? Dude, the average size is a little bit off today. I just missed, oh, I just you just missed one too? Yeah, I just missed like a giant pike or something right before this fish, then caught a nice little 12 incher. And Chris also apparently just had a bite. I told him this spot was gonna be juicy and uh, it seems he didn't believe me, but. But now I do, cause I just missed Things are happening. Nice little 12 incher. It's a decent one. Dude, that thing hit it like 10 feet in front of the boat. I just watched her come up on it. She came out of the depths. Oh. There we go, guys. Probably the biggest one so far. Another like almost two pounder, not quite. But we're just fishing these shallow, shallow docks here. We're probably sitting about 10 feet. The docks are in about five. And this thing just came right off that break line. She just came straight from the bottom and just smoked that chatter eight. But first, really solid fish of the day. We had those little guys earlier, but should we put a fish in the live well? You want to do that or no? Nah? 
Yeah. All right. We're gonna we're gonna get our best five in the live hole going. So, see if we could put together a uh, pretty solid. Load. Maybe we hit like 15 pounds a day. There he is. That's a good one. Oh Get the net on that one. Right out of those pads, man. <laughs> there he is. There he is. <laughs> okay, we we're just talking about how we couldn't believe we even got bit in a while. We haven't got bit in a while. Oh, we both switched up to the chatterbait, and I finally just stuck another one. And it's probably over three pounds pretty easily, but absolutely just cross that chatterbait right at the edge of these these lily pads here gonna put her in the live well and get back to you guys Whew. that's what we're after right there boys that's right that's what we're trying to do out here <laughs> that's what we about You got one? Are we doubled up? Are we doubled up? Double. We're just doubled up. Fall bassin'. Fall chatterbait bassin'. We just doubled up, boys. This thing's so slow, we just Mine's doubled. Mine's bigger. Yours is definitely bigger. <laughs> doubled up. Cheers. Doubled up. Yeah, this is a 15. Up on that grass flat, boys. Woo! Oh, cal calm down. Calm down, buddy. Cal calm, cal buddy. Buddy. Good boy. Oh, oh. Good. Another nice little chunky 12 inch guy, huh? Were you doubting this spot a little bit? You just spit all over your beard. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Another one. Mm, good one. Not a big one. Oh, I think she's gonna keep though. Maybe, maybe not even. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, she might. She might. She might join us in the live well. Nah, not even. I'm not even gonna bump her. She's probably like. She's probably. She might be a 14. She's probably pretty close, but she's pretty little. We don't. We don't want her. You got one. There we go. That's a keeper. To the what? To the pole. Oh, jeez. That's gotta be. Yeah, that's easily. Get in the boat. Finally, Chris stuck one over 14 inches. And probably probably not by much. He's probably like 14 and a quarter, but yeah. That's our fourth one we're putting in the box. Finally, he does it. Yeah, he, he finally does it. Does it. He finally does it. All right, guys, wrapping up the day. Here's the big fish of the day. I don't even think we're gonna weigh the other ones. They're all about pound and a half or so. So nothing crazy besides this one random one that just decided to eat the chatterbait. Yeah. 3.97, so pretty much right at four pounds. Nice, chunky fish. Nice, awesome fish in the fall. I haven't gotten any, any real big bass this fall so far. I've been focusing on the salmon and muskie, as you guys have probably already saw. So feels good to get back out here, get on some bass, throwing some uh, chatterbaits and swim jigs around. So. Probably, probably just going to let the rest of these fish go. Not not going to weigh them, but thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys next time. We're going to show them these. You're going to show them. <laughs> That's the second big one. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah, let's just weigh them. Let's just weigh them. Let's just weigh them. All right, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, easy. Wow, excuse me. We have probably more weight than I thought. <laughs> Jesus. This is a two and a half pounder. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's episode. And like I said, if you want to check these reels out, links are in the description. I'm not being paid by this company. They just sent me a couple reels to try out, and I liked them a lot. So that's why I'm making this video for you guys. But uh, Friday, I'm going to Lake Geneva. We're going to be primarily targeting muskie again. I know this used to be primarily bass channel, but for some reason, I'm just fishing for, for trout, salmon, and muskie, and everything else that swims in the water besides bass lately. But we're going to probably be primarily targeting muskie, but we, pr we might go after some smallmouth and largemouth as well. So I should have at least one video, maybe two videos of Geneva because I'm going to be there Friday and Saturday. But should be awesome. And those videos will be up, at least one of them will be up on Sunday. 
So thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. We have probably more weight than